In this question, we're asked for the Z-transform of the convolution of two signals. So we have X and Y, the time domain signals. They're convolved in the time domain, and we want the Z-domain, or the Z-transform of the convolution. Now remember the convolution property. If you have two signals, and they're convolved in time, That's equivalent in the z-domain of simply multiplying the two. So you multiply x of z times y of z. So now my task is to find x of z and y of z. And we can do that by looking at the table. So we're looking for something that looks like n squared u of n. And in the table, Conveniently, we have exactly that. We have n squared u of n. So x of z would simply be z, z plus 1 over z minus 1 cubed. And I got that from there. And I'd do exactly the same to find uh, y of z. So I get y of z from the table. So what we're looking for is something that looks like n u of n. So a unit ramp function, discrete ramp. So there it is, your discrete ramp. The z transform is z over z minus 1 squared. So that's what we're after, z over z minus 1 squared. Now we found x and y, we go back to the question. The question is the z-transform of the convolution, so we find the product, so we multiply these two together. So x of z times y of z equals, so we're multiplying this expression by this expression. So z squared z plus 1 over z minus 1 to the power 5. And that's my final answer. The question was, what's the z transform of the convolution? So we could have carried out a discrete time convolution, but much easier is simply to use the z transform table, find the equivalent um, expressions in the z domain, and then multiply them. So here we have our final answer.